Meta has just released a multilingual Llama model, which is Llama 3.3. It's a 70 billion parameter model. And the tagline is that experience leading performance and quality at the fraction of the cost with our latest release. And they are saying that Llama 3.3 70 billion model offers similar performance to that of the Llama 3.1 405 billion parameter model. 405 billion parameter model is their flagship model and now they are saying that Llama 3.3 with just 70 billion parameters is on par with that of the 405 billion parameter model. So I cannot wait to get my hands dirty and test out this model. So if we look at the Hugging Face model release page, we will have to agree to share our contact information before we can actually get the model. So once we have done that, if we look at the model information, they're emphasizing that Llama 3.3 is a multilingual large language model, which means that it now supports quite a few languages such as German, French, Italian, Portuguese, Hindi, Spanish, and Thai. Once again, in the model information, they're saying that the Llama 3.3 instruction tuned text only model is optimized for multilingual dialogue use cases and outperform many of the available open source and closed chat models on common industry benchmarks. And in terms of the intended use, they're saying that it's intended for assistant like chat. So if you want to use it with the Hugging Face Transformers, it's pretty much the same. You will have to update the model to Llama 3.370B Instruct. Just after updating the model ID, you create the pipeline and the message and every single step after that is exactly the same as you will deal with any other Llama model. Compared to the previous models, it now supports multiple tool use formats. On top of that, you can also use with bits and bytes and you can also use it with Olama. The different models that are available under Olama is that 70 billion and we already have some of the quantized versions available. Let's move on to some of the benchmarks and see how it fares compared to other state-of-the-art models. So let's compare the performance of Llama 3.3 70 billion parameter model against the predecessor, which is 3.5 5 billion foundation model, and also some of the state-of-the-art models such as Gemini Pro, GPT-40, and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So let's start straight away between the Llama models. 3.1 405 billion parameter model seems to be better. In the MMLU chat, it's got 88.6, but the Llama 3.3 has just got 86. And in the Pro, the Llama 3.1 has got 73.4, but in case of Llama 3.3, it's only 68.9. So when it comes to math, we can see that the new model overtakes the Llama 3.1 model. And also when it comes to reasoning, for example, GPQA Diamond, we can see that the new model again overtakes the predecessor, which is Llama 3.1. And when it comes to tool use, we can still see that the previous model, Llama 3.1, seems to do a better job. And when it comes to long context, no surprises here. This is a big model, so it can deal with long context pretty well. So it's still 98.1, which is a winner. And the newest model, it's doing fairly close, but still not beating that. And when it comes to multilingual task, again, it's very close to the Llama 3.1 model. So the huge win for the latest model is in terms of the cost. We can see that for 1 million input tokens, the pricing for the Llama 3.1 model is $1, but when it comes to the latest model, it's just $0.1. And when it comes to 1 million token outputs, again, the cost is significantly reduced. So this will be the go-to model for you if you want to work with the Llama family and you have a serious consideration for the cost. So in terms of the coding performance, let's take the human eval. We all know that Claude is the reigning king in this case. So looking at the human eval performance, we can see that still Claude 3.5 Sonnet is a leader in this case at 88.4. But looking at the MBPP Eval Plus, we can now see that it's overtaken the uh, Claude 3.5 Sonnet model because Claude 3.5 Sonnet is 86.8, but the latest Llama model is 87.6. To get started with testing Llama 3.3, 
we are going to be using grok cloud so if we head to console.grok.com slash playground we will hit this page and we will have to log in so if i click on login and if i log in with my google account then i should be able to get started with using the llama 3.3 model i can choose the model on the top right listed here which is llama 3.3 70 billion versatile so there we go we have the llama 3.3 70 billion model running for us so let's start with some coding tests i'm going to start by asking to write some html code in order to see how it does so the instruction that we are giving is write code for html page with stars flying around you may use javascript and css so i'm going to submit that we can see that it's just churning out code really fast it's also come up with instructions on how it works we are going to copy the code paste it and then see how it opens in a browser Let's ask the same question to GPT-40 model and find out how it does. It says here's the simple HTML page and it is churning out the code indeed. We're going to copy it and we're going to save it as index.html to find out how well it does. The generation is actually slower than that of the uh, Llama 3.3 model. By this time, Llama 3.3 had finished generating the code and also the instructions. So we don't need all those details. So we are going to copy the code and paste it and see how it goes. So this is the page generated by llama 3.3 we can see that the stars are going from left to right so it is a pass in this case let's have a look at the gpt 40 model in this case the stars are raining from top to bottom but still it's doing exactly what we wanted it to do so it's the tie between the two so let's move on to a different coding task in this case to do with python so we're going to ask it to generate python code to play sudoku game let's see how what it comes up with so again the code generation is pretty fast but but it's given us the code. I'm going to copy it, paste it in the Python file. I'm just going to run the Python file to find out how it goes. In a similar fashion, let's also go to ChatGPT and ask the same question. Write Python code to play Sudoku game. Let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. Here's the Python script to play Sudoku game. If you remember from my previous video, when we compared uh, GPT-40 to Claude 3.5, we asked the exact same question. It's literally hard coding all the values in the same Python file without any config file or whatever. It's just a single script that it's generating, but let's see if it works. It's also giving some details about the feature. It's about the display boat. It's about the input validation and completion check. So it's also giving instructions as to how we can run the script. And finally, it's asking us to feel free to modify the puzzle variable for different Sudoku puzzles. So I'm going to copy paste it in a Python file and see how it does. So what I've got here is two Python files that generated by GPT-40 and Llama 3.3. So I'm going to run the Llama one first. We can see that it's given the Sudoku puzzle and it's given us instruction as to how we can go about modifying different values. For example, I'm just going to give fourth row, fourth column, set the value to four. Yeah, I think it's done it. So it's changed the 002 to is changed to 402. And we can similarly move on just playing in a 455, for example, it's updated the same row to 452 from 402 so it seems to work on the command prompt so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to quit this i'm now going to run the gpt version of it and see how it does oh it's given dots in place of zero which makes sense enter row column and number so i'm going to probably say 444 again it hasn't updated as far as I can see, am I missing something? So I'm going to ask it to update the second row, second column with the value 5. I can't see any update to that. Yeah, after looking at it completely, I really cannot see any update to that. And it doesn't even give a feedback saying that it hasn't updated. It's just silently doing a mistake. So we, this is really not acceptable. And I don't even know how to come out of it. So if I type quit, I'll have to do a control C, which is not an elegant way to come out of the program. So I really have to give it up to Llama 3.3 in this case. Let's move on to some logical reasoning. And I'm going to ask this question. Jane went to visit Jill. Jill is Jane's only husband's mother-in-law's only husband's only daughter's only daughter. I'm not going to say that again. What relation is Jill to Jane? So it solved it. It clearly gives a breakdown of the steps. It's recent in order to arrive at this answer. But eventually it comes up with the answer saying that Jill is Jane's niece. 
So let's move on to chat GPT and ask the same question and find out what the answer is. It's breaking down into step by step. Again, we can notice that it's significantly slower than the other model. So it says Jill is Jane's granddaughter. So one of them got that wrong. The answer is Jill is Jane's daughter, but GPT 4.0 has got it wrong actually. So this is surprising to me because last time it gave the right answer that Jill is Jane's daughter when we compared the GPT 4.0 against Claude 3.5 but again Llama 3.3 has also got it wrong and says that it's Jill is Jane's niece again it, it has to be Jill is Jane's daughter so both of them got that wrong let's move on to a different puzzle and this time let's ask which of the words below is least like the others the difference has nothing to do with vowels consonants or syllables and let's give these four words which is more pairs etchers and zipper so the answer it comes up with is etchers and the reason it gives is the other three words more pairs and zipper are all related to clothing or accessories in some way more can refer to a type of cloak pairs can refer to pairs of shoes or socks and a zipper is a common fastener on clothing while etchers is a term related to art of craftsmanship an etcher is someone who creates etchings typically on metal or glass so this is an impressive reasoning this is one of the mensa questions by the way so the real answer here is uh, zipper because you know we can derive the word room from mo we can derive paris from pairs we can derive chester from etchers but we cannot derive any city or country's name from zipper so that's the odd one but this kind of reasoning also makes sense let's ask the exact question to chat gpt now okay it it reasons in a different perspective it says more refers to quantity or degree pass refers to grouping or set etchers refers to people who engrave or inscribe zipper however is a concrete physical object used in clothing or accessories this distinction separates it from the rest and so the word is zipper so this is not quite well reasoned in my opinion compared to the reasoning here which is slightly more appealing so i would say definitely i would give it up for llama 3.3 again in this case so let's move on to some numeric reasoning from logical reasoning and ask this question find the number that best completes the following sequence and we give the sequence 1, 2, 4, 7, 11, question and 22. So let's find out what it fills the question with. It has come up with the answer 16. So it's fairly straightforward and I would expect most of the models these days to come up with the right answer. So to determine the next number in the sequence, let's analyze the pattern of the given numbers and it starts analyzing difference between consecutive numbers. It's really explained it step by step and I quite like the answer. Let's ask the same question to ChatGPT and find out how GPT-4 does. To find a missing number in the sequence, let's analyze the pattern and it comes up with the same answer the differences are increasing by one two three four and it says that the missing number is 16 so it's a tie between the two in both the cases we get the answer as 16 so both of them are doing pretty well with this particular question let's try out some of the common prompts that are used to evaluate or benchmark the models these days so it's let's ask the simple question how many words are there in the response to this prompt and let's see it says that there are eight words in the last message and the last message was how many words are there in the response to this prompt so it gave back the exact message that i typed in but it gave the wrong answer it says there are eight words but actually there are 11 words llama 3.3 got that wrong let's ask the same question to gpt 40 oh the response to this prompt contains 23 words it doesn't even give us any reason or some anything behind it it just simply throws a wrong answer both of the answers are wrong so we cannot say one of them is a winner in this case so let's move on to the cliche prompt which is that of how many hours are there in the word strawberry and let's see how it goes there are two hours in the word strawberry and also two other instances where the letters are repeated the double r and double b so there's no double b there's only double r and there are three r's in contrast to the two r's that the llama 3.3 has come up with let's ask the exact same question to chat gpt and let's find out how the, the word strawberry contains two r's super confident and you're wrong so to summarize the coding task we went through two coding tasks which is to do the sudoku game which is to write the python code with um, for a sudoku game 
and we saw that Llama 3.3 did well compared to GPT-4.0. This was a functioning code. In this case, the code was not quite functioning, and so we'll have to give it up for Llama 3.3. And for the HTML generation with stars, both of them came up with a stellar page. So they both are the winner in this case. And then let's move on to the uh, summary of the uh, reasoning task. In this case, we saw the relationship between Jane and Jill. Both of the models came up with the wrong answer. And in case of number sequence, they both came up with the right answer. They both said it's 16. So we'll have to uh, give it up for both. And for the odd word out reasoning, the Llama 3.3 model did well and the reasoning made much more sense compared to the reasoning that GPT-4.0 came up with. So we'll have to give it to Llama 3.3. And how many words are there in the prompt? So this is where we counted the number of words in the response. So both of the models got that wrong. And again, for the cliche prompt for counting the hours in the strawberry, both the models got that wrong as well. But overall, if you ask me, definitely from the cost perspective, I'm leaning much more towards Llama 3.3 because it's cost effective and also it seems to be running much faster compared to GPT-4.0. With that, I'm going to sign off and I will see you in my next video about reviewing some of the model. Until then, take care.